Hello, Ms. Tilson here. In this short video, I'd like to show you how to set up a helicoidal staircase in Stair Designer. Here we have a helicoidal staircase. Um, setting it up in Stair Designer is fairly easy if we use the right method. If we just throw ourselves into the Stair Designer and try to build this stair, it can be get quite confusing. The secret is to set the staircase out in another in, in another 2D CAD program beforehand and from the set out in the 2D program we can use um, the drawing to give us the parameters that we're going to use in Stair Designer. So this is how I do it. Let's go into my drawing program which is ProjiCAD, of course it can be any 2D CAD program and this is the setup that I have built for this particular stair. The stair has to go up the around a half a circle. Uh, the half a circle diameter is five meters and it has to move up through this half a circle. It's got a bit more, two meters sixty, um, up from the start of the stair to the back of the wall here. And the two meters sixty is here. And the stair itself is a one meter twenty wide. How do I set this up in, in, in Porygy CAD or AutoCAD or some other CAD system? I'm going to show you very quickly. For instance, the easiest way to do this is just to say, well, let's draw a rectangle. And the rectangle size will be 5 meters by 2 meters 60. This is a rectangle. I'm going to ex explode this rectangle, which is the polyline, so that I can offset at 1 meter 20 the sides of this rectangle, which will give me the width of the staircase, the width of the different flights. We'll just uh, trim these two to make an angle. Now we could say the square stair, as a stair designer will always be working with straight flights to start with, which we're going to curve. Straight flights will be these going up like this. What we need now is to, dis is to draw the plan of the curves. Draw the plan of the curves um, It's pretty easy. We just take a circle and we use a tangent 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 option, TTT, and we say I want the circle tangent to this line, to this line, and to this line. I'll do the same thing again, TTT, making the circle tangent to this line, this line, and this line. Now let's trim this at this line, let's trim the back bottom of the circle. And there we have the stair with its curves moving up in the stairwell. We also need to put in, we're going to offset by half the width, the stair width, this inner circle here so that will give us the tread line, tread line going up into the middle. Right, now here we've just quickly drawn up the plan, a very rough plan, but the plan itself has given us all the different curves and the sizes of the curves. Let's put some size dimensions on it. If I dimension this here, we have 2 meters 60, I dimension here 5 meters, and I dimension this here, we have 2 meters 60 going up. But what, we, what is very interesting is that we can now just ask what is the best radius here. The radius here is 2 meters 50. The inner radius, if I click on this arc here, is 1 meter 30. Um, and the radius of the, the, radius of the, um, the, the tread line is 1 meter 90. And there we have practically all the, all, the, all the different sizes we need to build our stair in Stair Designer. Let's go back into Stair Designer now. I'll go back into Stair Designer. Here's our stair. Um, we don't really want that particular stair. Let's close it. And let's start a new stair. Let's start a new stair completely. And we're going to use build the stair using the ProjiCAD drawing to give us the, the sizes, the parameters of the stair. So, first flight is moving. Let's say the stair is moving up to the left. So we want to give the outer sizes on the right, which is what we had in our project code drawing here. 260 is first flight, 5 meters is second, and 260 for the third flight. Going back into stair designer, so let's put in here 260. Uh, the width of the stair was 1 meter 20. We had a flight, and the second flight is 5 meters, and it's turning on the left. Another flight, it's 260. Uh, let's add a a landing step here, doesn't matter, we can put whatever landing step we want. Um, and let's give a height to this stair 
uh, which, a bit, which corresponds a bit to the actual size of the stairs. So it goes up about five meters. Five meters. Let's just put it in as, as an example. Right. Now we want we're going to ask stair designers to calculate the stair. What is the optimum number of steps that we need to move up on this stair? So I go into help. In the help box, stair designer says we can put either 28 steps, and on 28 steps, the steps will be 17.8 uh, centimeters, or 29, and we get uh, 17.2. Well, let's take let's go for 29. I've got over here for 29. The button goes OK. Let's go for it. Here we have the stair. I've just noticed that I'm actually on the French interface. Hang on, just change the interface into English so it's a bit more easy for you to read. Right, interface back into English now. Now the stair's going up now, we need to just curve it. Let's curve the step. Let's curve the step. Um, to curve the step, we're going to uh, curve the inside of the step first. We're going to do join, and we're going to put an arc on the, on the, on the, on the, into the corner. And the radius of the arc, that's what's in, well, this is where our project CAD drawing comes in handy. Give us the radius of the arc. We have a radius here of 1 meter 30. But what we have to know is that this 1 meter 30 corresponds to the outer side of the string. Stair designer, this radius that we're going to use in stair designer, if I go back into stair designer, the radius of the arc that we use corresponds to the inner side of the string. So what I just have to do is I have to take the radius from the project CAD drawing, 1 meter 30, and I'm just going to have to add the width of the string, thickness of the string. So at six, I know the strings are 60 mil. 60 mil. I'm going to add 60 mil, so that's 1 meter 36. I'm going to do the same on this side here. Add an arc of 1 meter 36. Then we have the arcs. Now let's uh, adjust the tread line to follow the string. Tread line radius. Go into here. I can see my tread line radius here at 1 meter 90, and that's just the right size. I'm going to put fixed tread line radius at 1 meter 90. That side, this side, the same tread line radius at 1 meter 90 and that's moved the tread line along, along the stair. Let's put on the curve the outer string now, join this one in an arc. We've got the outer size string, the outer radius is 2 meters 50. This time it does correspond to the actual thing that we're parameter doing the right side of the string, 2 meters 50. And here on the outer radius too, join arc. 2 meter 50, and then we have our stair. If we look at it in 3D, here is the stair. And of course, what's good is we've just set up this stair quickly, but stair designer has given us all the manufacturing documents and details. If I look into the project preview, we get all the we get a plan, we get all the steps. Um, <coughs> We get all the steps and all the rest of it. Let's go down to the end. We got we get the cutting lists at the end. All the cutting lists of the rises, the steps, etc., etc. And so let's close that. So you can see it's quite easy to set up this sort of stair if you go about it properly. Thank you very much for looking, and I hope it's been interesting for you to see this. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.